and welcome back to Tati's Place. Today I will be sharing with you a few tips on what to do while nursing. Now these have helped me out tremendously over the years and my hope is that you will be blessed by it also. Now if you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Be sure to hit the post notification bell so that you can be up to date on all the latest videos that so, I post. The first thing I'd have to say is that nursing is biblical. There are many times in the Bible where you see um, babies at the, at the mother's breast. Um, the second thing I must say is that this is only a season. Most babies after a while, they either wean themselves or you wean them. Um, so that season can come anywhere from six weeks or to, to three years after nursing. It just depends on the bond that you have with the baby and um, you know things of that nature. So if you are in love with nursing and you love doing it, it is only for a season. And if you are struggling, I'm here to tell you that it's only for a season. <laughs> so I have um, a little experience in nursing. I've been nursing for over 10 years, I guess you can say, uh, combined all together. So I have a little bit to share with you all on that. So the first thing I'm gonna tell you is that if you are a new mom, there are still quite a bit that you can do while nursing. I know you may feel as though nothing is getting done. I'm sitting here nursing my baby and you know, no, I don't have a maid here. My house is not getting clean, you know, but there are things that you can do. And so nursing, especially for my first child, it provided a great time for Bible devotion, scripture memorization, and just a way for me to meditate on the Word of God and the beauty that He had all around me. You know, my, just falling in love with my baby, watching his every uh, cue and motions, and it just gave a real peace. And so things are quiet. Yes, the house is not getting done, you know, clean, chores are not getting taken care of. However, it is a time for you to just relax, to meditate, Bible devotions, read your word. You can even read the word to the baby. Um, scripture memorization, if I have not said that already. The other thing you can do is read to your baby. Uh, a lot, there are so many different um, classic stories out there. Um, like my, my son, he actually knows brown bear, brown bear, like the back of his hand. <laughs> um, and that's just for me getting the book and reading every time he was nursing I would just read the same story and they they like uh, a little bit of that redundancy so it's it just went perfect for him it went very very well the other thing that you can do which is highly beneficial is to drink water if you do not drink water at all during the day this is a great time to do it because the, it's the best time to do it because you are sitting there. So when the baby has to nurse, you just grab your cup, sip it, sip it out of the straw, sip it out of the, the, the bottle, however you can consume it best because you have to replenish and stay hydrated. It helps your body, it helps the baby out, and you're losing a lot of that fluid already. So um, it's, you know, getting that intake is very well. It's very good. It is a good thing um, to drink lots of water and replenish that fluid that is being taken from your body. Now, for the moms that have children already, everything that I've said previously apply. Your Bible devotions, your scripture memorization, your meditating on the Lord's Word, reading to the baby, and drinking water. All that still applies. Uh, you can do that even with children. But when you have other children going around, you know, around the house, if you're in a large family, then you may want to think of dictating, which is what I do a lot right now. <laughs> so um, I dictate chores. I'm like, okay, but the floor needs to be swept. You grab the broom and do that while mama's nursing. Okay, can you please fold these towels, please, while mama's nursing? And you just start dictating, getting the, and things start getting done. The house doesn't look so chaotic, and chores are being well taken care of while you're nursing. Now, if you do have younger ones who cannot do that yet, 
you can sit and just start practicing their early reading skills with them. And I find this to be a, a time saver as well because when you're doing that first initial um, with your readers, the first initial steps with your readers, they don't need much time. You don't need to spend a whole lot of time with them. Actually, it's quite beneficial for you to separate those time, those, the time slots or those reading segments into smaller chunks so that way they're not overwhelmed. So you can do that with your younger ones instead of having them do chores. Now, another thing we like to do is uh, recitation. The kids will recite their poems, if they're memorizing poems, their Bible scriptures, their math facts. Um, if they're in drama, they'll, they'll um, recite to me their role, you know, the script that they have, uh, as well as any songs that we have to learn for drama um, that, that will all happen while I'm nursing. Sometimes you can just sit there, which I've done plenty of times, and count with the baby. You can count their buttons, you can count their fingers, their toes, and they start getting that rhythm and, you know, the rhythm of counting. So, um, those are the things that I have done while nursing over the past 10, you know, all collectively the 10 years that I have been nursing, 10 plus, because I'm still nursing uh, baby number seven right now. Uh, that you can implement. These are things that you can implement while nursing. And um, I have been nursing for over 10 years. Sometimes it's hard for me to believe, but it is true when I add up every all the kids all together. Um, my first one nursed for two months off and on. Um, that was between nursing and pumping and my baby number two and three both nursed for 18 months each baby number four she nursed for 15 months and that is because I when she was 10 months I found out I was pregnant with baby number five so I guess the milk supply just changed not too sure on that <laughs> she just kind of weaned herself um, so baby number five nursed for 22 months. I thought she was gonna go well past two years old, but she stopped just shy of two. She was 22 months. Um, baby number six went to 27 months. And the way he nursed, I actually thought he was gonna stop well before two years old, but it didn't happen that way. And baby number seven, he's still nursing and he's not to yet so <laughs> I've had my fair share of nursing so hopefully I have um, a little bit to impart on you but thank you so much for watching please I'd love to hear if this was helpful for you I'd love to hear what you do while you're nursing how you use that time wisely to benefit you and your home and God bless you and I will see you in the next video bye bye